Hi YouTube family and friends out there, it's Tara. Today I'm going to do a YouTube tutorial on Fuzzy Sock Bouquet. As you can see, I have a finished product behind me and one in the midst that I'm gonna kinda give you a walkthrough a tutorial to help you make your own Fuzzy Sock Bouquet. If you want to continue to follow my channel and follow me for some inspiration with your DIY projects, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like my channel. I'll be doing uploads at least once a week, so make sure that you hit the subscribe button. I put this little sign up here because I have my TV and I know it can probably be a little distracting with the reflective quality of it. So in the future, maybe I'll have something more aesthetically pleasing, but for today, I just have my little sign. So I will insert a picture of all the products that you're gonna need for our project, but I'm gonna do a quick one run through right here, right now. So this is a mid project. I'm gonna show you the finished finished product right here. So I, I took a gift bag that I snatched up. Um, I buy them in bulk pack from either Michael's or even at the dollar store, you can buy individual ones. So if you're just going to do this for um, a sister-in-law, mother-in-law, um, your mom, for a birthday gift, a friend, a co-worker, for a get well gift, you can just go and buy an individual gift bag from the dollar store. And I order a lot of things in bulk on Amazon and online for creating because I do a lot of gift giving and do a lot of um, party throwing and stuff like that. But if you want to um, just do this as a one-time project, you can hit up the dollar store. They may have a lot of these items here that I picked up at places like Michael's and Joann's and Amazon. Um, so, this is what the final project will look like. So you're going to first need to find some type of a flower bucket. This is a French um, style flower bucket that's galvanized metal. And you're also going to need some type of foam because you're going to be using it to stick your faux flowers in. And speaking of faux flowers, you need to pick up some type of faux flowers. It can be whatever you choose. A little bunch like this. Um, this group is really nice because you can just bend them and spread them out and then stick them right in the middle and then stick your um, fuzzy flowers around to make a nice bouquet. Or if it's not so easy like this, you'll just snip with wire cutters um, and then place them wherever you want in your bouquet. You're also going to need some treat sticks. They're going to be your stem for your fuzzy sack flowers. So you can purchase um, wood dowels but the treat sticks are better because they're, they have a little give, they, ha they get, have a little play in them, and you can kind of even bend and move them around if you need to. Um, and they're easier they're, to poke through the foam. You're gonna need some ribbon, definitely a pair of scissors. If you can't find green treat sticks, you're going to want to pick up some floral tape, green floral tape, because these sticks are going to be work as our stems. You're going to need some fuzzy socks. Um, however many pair, two socks are going to give you two flowers, or one pair of socks is going to give you two flowers. So depending on how many extra little fuzzy socks that you want, um, you can pick up some Faux baby's breath, if you choose. That's definitely optional. I didn't use it in the projects for today. And then this is something I picked up from Joanne or Michaels. It is um, 
shredded aspen wood fibers and I just use it as a nice top filler to kind of hide all of the foam and um, tissue paper and whatnot that's kind of down in and holding your project in place. I also have some moss here. You could also stick some moss um, on top of your project instead of like the twiggy um, aspen fibers that I'm using for my project today, just to give you some options. So as you can see, I have a project that I already started. This is the one I'm going to use to show you how to go about doing your own fuzzy sack bouquet. So first things first, you're going to take your foam. And I actually have like a more triangular piece of foam in here. But you can use pretty much anything. Um, obviously, because of the height of this vase, you're going to want something that's going to push up your floral arrangement. So I went with this one. If you have a shorter, you know, like a, a, a bucket, shorter type galvanized bucket for your floral bouquet, then, you know, something smaller like this will work just fine. And you might want to just put some tissue paper underneath it to pack it up. Now, as you puncture the foam and the styrofoam floral holders, you're, they're kind of messy and they can kind of put bits and pieces all over the place. So I like to, to wrap them just so when the person that you're giving them to um, receives their gift, it's not just a pile of rush, rubbish in the bottom. And at the same time, it just um, gives makes a nice filler to kind of hold them in place inside of your galvanized flower vase or bucket. And after you stick your bunch of flowers into the foam, so you'll just take and poke these in there and then just kind of spread them out, pulling them apart. They're nicely wired there then you're going to create your fuzzy sacks to then stick in amongst them. So let's start by showing you how to make a flower with a fuzzy sack. Want to take your sock, if it's got a heel in it like that, that's a nice solid color, you're gonna wanna kinda hide it in the middle so I flattened my sock out. I took it from this and I made it flattened out with the heel in the middle and I'm going to fold it in half. Oh my goodness, I just thought of something that I forgot that we need and that is rubber bands. You're going to want to run up to your local dollar store, Dollar General, Family Tree, Family Dollar, they're the little tiny clear hair ties or hair rubber bands, the little itty bitty ones. And you don't want to pick up the multicolor pack or black because when, unless you're doing black flowers, um, because these just blend in with whatever you're, you're using. So whatever color sock you have, you're not going to see these rubber bands. You don't want them sticking out. So what you're going to do is the open end that you would have stuck your foot in to put these socks on, you're going to kind of roll from that end and you're going to roll tight but uneven so that you're growing your flower bud at the top there. So I'm doing it tightly but I'm going to lift it up to show you. So just going to keep turning. Oh my goodness, all my little aspen wood shreddings are sticking on the table there. And you're just going to roll it around so it looks like a nice little rose flower bud. And you're going to take your clear rubber bands and you're just going to snap them around. I've got about three or four on here just because over time they might where if one snaps, you have a couple backups. Okay, and next, we're going to take our 
treat stick and some floral tape and we're gonna wrap it. Now you don't have to wrap the entire thing because the flower bud's gonna be at the top and then the bottom is actually gonna stick into the foam. So you don't wanna waste any material. There's no need to wrap the entire stick. Just enough to cover it so it'll be a nice little stem for your project. Okay. And it's nice, it just kind of sticks on there. It's nice and tacky. And then you're just gonna pop your fuzzy sock flower bud on there. Oh my goodness, this aspen shred is everywhere. <laughs> so I would actually wait until the very end to throw your aspen sh um, shred or your moss you can even take some green or brown um, tissue paper and just kind of stick it in there so it looks like either greenery or some kind of potting material, soil, just to keep it more naturey. Let's see here. Where do I want my, my new flower bud? I think I'm going to stick it over here. I'm just going to poke it down in the foam there. There we go. And I think I'm gonna make one on the other side to stick over here to kind of even it out. Here. So I'm just gonna find a nice little spot to poke it in the foam. Oh. I'm gonna re-poke it because how you put it in there on the angle is how it's gonna stay. Like I said before, um, the treat sticks are better than getting a dowel, a wooden dowel, because the treat sticks have a little play. You can kind of bend them and move them just a little bit. And then you're going to want to take your filler, whatever it is, your um, ash shredded aspen wood or some type of moss, or you can even take some um, tissue paper that's green or brown to look like some foliage in there just to make it look more natural and realistic and then I happen to have um, a card holder stuck in here I bought a bunch on bulk in at Amazon but if you happen to have a little card holder left over or the next time you get flowers just save that and hang on to it and you can reuse it and recycle it for gift giving okay so where is my ribbon so you're going to want to take your ribbon i have wired ribbon i recommend wired ribbon just because you can use it to um, use that wire to your advantage to kind of um, make the bow look extra snazzy and pretty. Kind of bend the little hanging down into waves and just pop it out, make it look nice and full. And it'll stay that way even when you throw the plastic around it. So I hope that you found some benefit from this tutorial. I plan on doing uploads at least once a week. So if you enjoy crafting and creative ideas, please come back and join me by clicking that subscribe button and smash my smash the like button. Leave me some comments. Tell me what inspires you. Share something that you'd like to see. Um, something creative that you're interested in and a topic that you just can't seem to find anywhere out there in the DIY world on YouTube. Throw me some comments and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for joining me.